Hello, this is Tony. I'm going to show you what I use to do um, take off the background so that I can put uh, different movies on, video backgrounds. Here's one um, stand. As you can see, it's got a bar and it goes up to the other side and it goes down the other side the same. So it's the same, same thing as this one. And as you can see, it's easy to sort out if you have a look at the different bits on it there you've got a screw there a screw there a screw there and a butterfly screw at the top to screw the top bar in and that's the frame for the green screen right so i'm just going to get the green screen if you hang on a moment i'll just slip that over so i can see what i'm doing well, i'm just going to pop out here and get the green screen and all it is is like a fabric Small, uh, well, when I say small, it's not small, it's just a very thin piece of um, very light fabric, like that. And all you do is you use these clips, these clips, to clip them to the actual bar. So I'm going to do that and show you how to do that. It's, it's not hard, really. Just need uh, plenty of practice there. You can do it any way you want as long as it fits your needs that's what you that's what you need to do so I'm going to try pushing it over like this right which is over you can pull it along where you need to and when you when you're sure it's right then you clip it on right so what you need because there's a lot of it it's quite big I bought the bigger one on purpose because I didn't know how much I need. It's always best to have more than less. Just in case you know, you never know when you might need more. Right, so I'll just even it up as best you can. And you can do it whichever way you want to. And I'm going to put it closer to this side because I can clip on the side then as well. And then you just put the ball clips on. You get, you should get about three if you buy them, buy um, a green screen like I did. Uh, you should, they should give you roughly around three of these, and you can put them on different places. You can always get some more anyway from the pound shop. These you can get these from the pound shop. But I've got, I've, I have got some more because I bought some before I even bought the green screen. Um, I don't know where I put them now. Never mind. Um, so that's what I use. I use that. Hey. Is two I bought from the pound shop. I can clip the sides here just to stop it wavering about too much, so and then cover that like that round there, right? So I'll do that, put that one further down. Once it's clipped, so it's more or less okay. Then the next thing you do, you need to have one of these, which is. Um, it's a, a light box, the caller. And if, if I'm going to try and move it around so you can see what it looks like. There, there's the side of it. I mean, I've got this one the wrong way. I'm going to, that's better, right? Now, now I'll do it. It's all right, it's going to loose for some reason. There you go, and that's, that's on, the, on its own tripod as well. Right, if I put it to the front, you'll see the front end right now if I open this you'll see there's a big bulb in it you gotta be very careful with a big bulb I'll show you and so I'll pull this it's all um, easy to put together and it's got velcro on the side if you do that you can open it like that and there's the bulb you can see you see the bulb there right so that's what I use for lighting up the green screen not me what you do is you have to light up the green screen. So what you do is you put it at the side of there and make sure it's on the screen itself, right? That, that the green screen's got to be light. Um, so if you do that and take off all the, the shadow off the green screen, then I'm in the middle and I can talk and, you know, I'd, I'd, I can be forward, it doesn't matter. As long as the green screen 
is covered with the light and light, lights it up then when you do chroma key on your video editor it will be clean and then you can put your video on the on the background there where uh, it'll show through because the green screen will have gone right but if it's just dark it's hard to get off if it if you got a soft soft lights that's what they call them if you buy two soft lights that should be enough for mouse jobs right so you can buy two soft lights make sure as much of the um, shadows have gone from the green screen and you should have perfectly good picture for doing a background right so that's that bit and i'll show you uh, how to do the other bit in a bit but what i also want to say before i do that is this color is not the best shirt for this green screen and i'm going to show you why um because what what it is it's too close to green so therefore some of the chroma key will take the color off the shirt as well you have to be, do a lot of adjustments with colours that are similar so you're best off wearing a different colour um, what, what I'll do is I'll put a different colour jumper on or shirt on and I'll be back in a minute so I'll just okay so I've got a different shirt on and you'll see the difference once I've changed the background with this one as with the one with my blue shirt on right so I'm going to do that in a minute I'm going to put it onto the computer and sort out with two different um, video apps so you can see how to do it on both of them just in case you you got one and not the other or whatever and um, then it'll help you if you need any help with that uh, how, how to use chroma key with these kind of videos all right thank you Hello, this is Tony. Um, I've uh, just cut down the first video where I was uh, setting up the um, green screen for you. And what I need to do then is um, I'm going to put them onto the second track, both of these two pieces. You've got the one where I've got the blue shirt on and one where I've got the red shirt on. What I'm going to also do is I'm going to take off the audio for both of these. So if I go. Um, link unlink video and audio on that one and link unlink video and audio on that one then i'm going to take off both of them audios like that by removing them because i don't need them right now what i need to do is um then when i've done that is i've got to click on the first one click tools power tools crop and zoom because i want to get rid of the black piece on this side which is the um which is the soft light I don't need that bit so oops hang on a minute I forgot to change the aspect ratio to freeform uh, I'll do re freeform on this and do about that big and then bring it across so it's just me there really should be just bring it across a bit more I think there you go like that then put that in the middle and then if I click that it'll take off all that bit and now these black bits will be what's the uh, the film that will be on the background because i'm going to put that in track one right now that's that one but what i need to do with it now is i need to click on double click it so it'll bring up the uh, properties of the actual video that that's my video that i've made right now uh, i'm going to click on the chrome okay and click on you do you just pull down to the chrome okay there and then you click on that then you click on the dropper then you get as close to the best mouse natural colour of mouse to the green screen like that. So that's took off mouse a bit anyway. Then you do colour range and you reduce the colour as much as you can. Right. And you use the denoise as well. Try and get rid of that. Right now let's just check that. See if that's okay. So you've got bits of parts particles coming off my thingy. So I need to adjust that. I mean that ain't gonna work very well because 
what it is the colour of my shirt say. So we need to do that. Um, we need to pull that from across that. No, that's good too much. So we then like you can do with it because it's the wrong colour shirt so you know, I can go D now is it less. Pull that a bit more. Try that. Right, so this is a problem with having a shirt like that. That's a bit better. But you're still going to get flicks in it, and you, you can see the edges are really terrible. So that's about the best you can get with a shirt of a similar colour to your, your green screen, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the background video to it, and you'll see the difference when I do the other one in a minute, right? So what I need to do is I need to um, introduce um, a background video. So what I need to do is import media. a nice background I'm going to add that on the background of my part there as you can see there's a bit there look that's noise that is so what I'll have to do is I'll go back into my video look down to that double click it um, and go back onto the chroma key part and I'll have to adjust it Adjusting, so I need to adjust the feed noise, but that's it. And try that, and let's try. That's reasonable. You're still getting that, right? And you're getting flex in there, right? So that's what you'll do. So you need to try and do that again. Put a bit more D noise on the crown, okay? See that's what it's happening, say it's taking this what's it off so you can't do it anymore. You can change the change the colour range and hope that that'll work. I'm gonna try that and see if that works. No, it's still some there. I also need to pull that across more. Try that. Yeah, you're still gonna get that little bit there. The only other thing you can do is just cut that little bit out by doing the same as I did before with the um, power tools uh, to cut the end off a bit more and get rid of that. And you've got these flicks and that in here, which you, you can, there ain't a lot you can do. You can try readjusting both the colour range and the denoise to try and get it as little as possible, which is what I've done. Um, that's all you can do with that. Um, but okay, let's get on to the next one, which is the red shirt. What I'll do is I'll put the same video up above in um, track one. Right? Oops, I don't know, right? It's on the track one. That's it. Right now, what I need to do with this one is I need to do the tools again, the power tools, I'm going to cut the edges off. Right, so crop and two and that thing. Right, so just do three, four, and that's about right and about there. Right, and just pull that that way. So it's cut it down a bit anyway. So and then what we need to do is just double click on the actual video clip I've done. Chroma key. Grab all of the dropper and do it somewhere about here. So as close to your body as you can. Um, it'd be the or oh, the, the subject matter as you can, like that. And that looks pretty good already. I haven't touched the denoise at all at the moment, so well, let's just check that, see how it's looking. You've got a bit of denoise there, so we, we need to get rid of that. Right, so that's what we'll do. We'll go on and try and change that a bit more, like that. Now let's try it again. There you go, it's perfect, isn't it? There's just a little bit there, look. I'll just do that a little bit more then. on your clouds at all. There you go. 
right? So that's the difference. So if you wear a different colour to the, the green screen, I mean, you can have a green screen, a black screen, or a white screen. That's what I've got. Um, because I bought uh, the green screen here a while back, and the, the, you can just two other screens as well, like the black screen and the white screen, in case you wanted to do uh, in a different way. Right, so that's what you do, and um, that's what you do on um, Power Director. That's how you do it on this one for the Crown and Key. So, hope that's useful to you if you've got Power Director and that. Um, if not, I'm going to do Mavavi in a moment, so I'll see you in a bit then. Okay, thank you. I just started the Mavavi new project um, and I need to add the files so I'm going to go down and get the files that I've already done I'm going to have to cut them on here because I haven't cut them um, on this one so I need to cut them for this one as well so I'll just add them first of all and what I want to do is just pull my tra first track down and that's pulled both tracks down actually so there you go I didn't deselect the one what I need to do is I need to cut this track down to about about that much really it's not going to be much of it about there there that's about right there right now if we have a look at that shall we just to check it out this colour is not the best yeah that's where I wanted it what I need to do now is remove the detach audio and detach the audio for that one because I don't need them talking at the same time and let's get rid of them um, delete that's it right so now what we're gonna do is we need to um, look for the stuff I need on there effects um, where's Chrome okay I'm, I'm very new to using this one so <laughs> bear with me a minute while I'll look oh it's on the adjustment side right so there's the crown key for that one then you just go like that and there's the crown key right and I also need to go on that one again for some apply apply that for starters and then I need to crop and rotate or just crop it crop it right so I need to crop it this way in that way okay that's fine yeah apply so that's that's a crop right so I've cropped it there and I've, I've got the chroma key on that one and this one I'm going to do the same with this where I'll crop that so I'm going to crop that down by this side crop it that side right then I'm going to apply that now I'm going to apply Chroma key to that one and boom that's it that should be pretty good right now what I need to do is uh, add my overlay which is um, a video I'm going to add some videos to it so that's, that's okay so I need to add my media and a file which is same video so you, you can see what it's like on this one gotta find it now there it is I'll add that one now what I need to do is just put it on top there uh, that's it right so I'll put that there and copy Still getting used to this but we'll see how we get on anyway i don't know whether i've done that right now let's try it now i can't see me i've got it the wrong way around don't i i need to put them underneath and then on top put them on top like that ah. oops i'm doing really well with this and i right that's it 
Okay, sorry about that. It's because it's different from my own. What's it? There you can see that's not right, is it? You got a bit of a problem with that. It ain't so bad on the thingy, but you've still got a bit of glitching in there. And this one, let's just try. Let's have a look at that one. That one's fine. It's just the green one with the blue. What's it? So what we need to do is go on to that adjust, adjust that again. So what we need to do is go to the ground key okay, on that one and check the noise properly. No, it's not that one. Tolerance. It doesn't seem to be adjusting anything, does it? Edges. I'll try that. Ah, it's got to get it some of it. have to adjust it again. Um it is whoa opacity. Oh that's really good. Opacity there. You'd have to use the opacity like that. But then it's lost some I say look. That's why you can't do that. Unfortunately you need to adjust that a bit. There you go. You still got that bit there. So there isn't a lot you can do with that. If I just try and adjust it like that. Now try and adjust that. The tolerance. There's the tolerance when it comes in. It's not adjusting that last bit. That, that's the problem with that. Having the blue, having a blue shirt on with a green, or green or anything like that, it'd be very difficult to get rid of. So you have, you'd have to do whatever you could, which is, it's not easy. This one, it's so much more perfect, because there's hardly anything showing at all on that. Because it's a, the other colour uh, shirt, because it's not close to the green one. So I suggest that you always try and use a, a colour which is not close to the green right but this is how you do it in um, Avalvi as well so I hope you've enjoyed watching my tutorial and hope it's useful to all of you and thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to Tony's Music thank you Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I would really like to say uh, the point of me taking off the audios was for this tutorial. It was not for the actual use of the chroma key, so you don't really need to take the audios off, right? Um, if I hadn't have done that, you wouldn't have heard me over the video itself, see? So uh, that's why I took it off. That's the only reason I took it off. Power Director and off my Volvi. Um, so, you need to leave your audio alone that was just because i needed you to hear me on the tutorial okay thank you